I'm Charlotte Hadfield and we're in the office in Emmanuel and we're going to be interviewing Lucy Dennison today. Um, so Lucy, how are you today? I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, Good. So what do you do here at Emmanuel? Oh, I do a lot of things here at Emmanuel, but the uh, most important thing I do is when somebody tells me something or I hear something that's supposed to be kept in confidence, mm -hmm. I do keep it in strict confidence unless the rector needs to know the information. And that's so very important. And I represent Emmanuel when I talk with people who mm -hmm. come in or on the phone. So I have to be very aware of that and have to try to present a Christ-like image for Emmanuel and myself. Yeah. Uh, okay? Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, the most important thing I do is the bulletins. I yes. have to get those done first, the two bulletins, and uh, one for the in-service and one for the um, online bulletin mm -hmm. done. I answer the phone and direct the callers to wherever they need to go, or I try to help them. Then I have people who come in who need help uh, financially with their bills. Uh, mm -hmm. And so I try to help them and, and do all I can for them. Of course, I answer the phone and <laughs> <laughs> write letters and all kinds of things. There's a lot of duties here. but Yeah, a lot of stuff that we don't even realize that right. you do, and, but um, it's yes. so important to us. Um, how long have you been here at Emmanuel? Uh, I came on April the 11th, 1992. And as I was telling you earlier, there is a little story behind that. Mm -hmm. uh, I graduated from business school and went to work at Western State Hospital. Uh, worked as a clerk stenographer. Uh, and we lost our babysitter. My oldest son was three. So we decided I'd stay home. So mm -hmm. I stayed home for 12 years. But in those 12 years, I also worked as a part-time secretary for my church, Salem Lutheran Church. Mm -hmm. So then I decided I wanted to, needed to go back to work. So uh, I wanted, applied for a job that I wanted. I didn't get the job. Uh -huh. I was very disappointed. But then I looked in the newspaper and there was an ad for this job here at, at Emmanuel. So I answered the ad. Um, Archer Hansen was senior warden at the time. So uh, she said, well, we've already got someone for the job, so, but she said, I'll take your name. Mm -hmm. And she did. So about a week later, she calls me and says, this person's not going to take the job. Would you submit your resume to me? Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, I will. So I waited a while because I really didn't want another church secretarial <laughs> job. <laughs> and uh, she called me back about a week later and she said, have you yeah. submitted your resume? And I said, no, but I will. Yeah. And I did submit the resume then. I got called for an interview. Jane Siglum interviewed mm -hmm. me. And uh, when Archer called me to tell me I had the job, I still didn't want the job. <laughs> <laughs> Not that it was a job, but I was a church secretary. So I said, all right, Lord, you shut the door to what I wanted. And if this is what you want from me, I'll mm -hmm. do it. And it has been a blessing for me. He, the Lord knew what I needed. Yeah. At the time and through the years, and the people have been a blessing for me here. Yeah, well, I'm glad you've <laughs> stayed so long because if you only stayed for a couple of years, I would have never met you. Oh, and, and I'm so <laughs> to meet you. What times have been your favorite here? I have a hard time picking favorites, so <laughs> I will say my favorite times have been getting to know the people here as yeah. they come into the office and. Uh, talking with them, getting their stories, and just like that phone call I got, talking <laughs> with people, I've made so many friends here. And those are just memorable times. The wonderful rectors we've had here at Emmanuel that I have so enjoyed working with and still miss working with some of them. <laughs> yeah. Um, what, are, what are you planning to do in your retirement? You have any big plans? Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm going to clean my house from top to bottom, get rid of stuff, give away stuff, yeah. get some space. Uh, I'm going to uh, want to make uh, photo albums for my three sons. And, uh, nice. I want to be able to visit more people, uh, write more notes. Uh, just 
and go to more football games with my grandson. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes, Barbara, this is Lucy. How are you, Barbara? So you were just finishing up telling me about what you were planning to do in your retirement, and it sounds very nice, kind of getting a fresh start. Yes, and doing things that I really haven't had time to do. Yeah. Uh, also, my middle son has a house at Smith Mountain Lake. We like to go down there oh, and really? you know, like to swim and, and the boat, and so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Doing yeah. those things. <laughs> yeah, and you're starting pretty much at the top of summer, mm -hmm. so you mm -hmm. really get that whole season to yourself. Yes. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for everything that you've done for Emmanuel. I know we will all miss you so, so much. Um, and I honestly didn't know how much the phone rang. Um, now that it's <laughs> rang twice, so it's, I was really expecting it to be a lot less, but um, I see that you do so, so much. And it, There is a lot involved, yeah. yes. But I have enjoyed it all. It made my job so... So enjoyable, the people that I've met and worked with. Yeah, we're all so thankful for you. Well, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you.